You are watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he said nobody should be wearing a denture, uh, a traditional denture. Uh, with us, and we're talking about dental implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. In fact, Nashville's dental implant dentist, Dr. Kent White. Dr. White, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. I'm really glad to be here. Good. Now, before, and we've wanted you on the show for quite some time, by the way. Oh, we made a few calls there. Um, for people that don't know you and your mm -hmm. practice, I guess, in Nashville, who's the typical patient? What are the different services you offer? Well, we do it all. Uh, we start off with just the checkups, the cleanings, the preventive dentistry, uh, the whitening, uh, replacing missing teeth, uh, replacing fillings, um, uh, all different ages. Of course, we also have another area that we practice in, and that's replacing um, old dentistry, old fillings, old crowns, old bridges. We have uh, four or five different areas we practice in, besides just the cleaning, besides uh, refilling teeth. Uh, we focus on non-metal dentistry. People that have had a lot of their old dentistry for a long time, they come to us, they want it updated, they want it upgraded, or they're having failing crown and bridge, or just all different uh, facets of dentistry, really. Uh, I'd say um, the other big area that we see a lot of are, are people that have bite issues. Uh, they come in and uh, they don't know exactly what's going on, or they may be uh, having issues related to their joint. Uh, we're, we're working a lot with... So you take care of migraine headache people? We do, we do. And you say it has something to do with the bite? Yeah, it, the way it, the teeth it really come does, yeah. I never thought I would believe this, but it's integrating medicine and dentistry together is what it's doing, and just happens to be related with our teeth. Okay. In a lot of cases, old failing dentistry like we were talking about earlier. Um, another area, of course, is uh, um, giving people back some hope. We do that with dental implants. We're able to uh, attach teeth that they probably have never had back that they brush in their mouth. And we said at the top of the show that you believe no more dentures. That's correct. What do you mean by that? Yeah, that means no one should have dentures floating around in their mouth. It should be fixed to their body. It's kind of like we get a third set of teeth. We get another option. So dental implants are like a third Absolutely. set? Absolutely. If we can't prevent you from losing a tooth or teeth, we can certainly replace them. That's my goal every day. Okay, good. Yeah. You also do what you call smile makeovers, porcelain veneers. Yes, yeah. At a, at a high level. Very popular where you are? Really popular, really popular. My ultimate goal is to go in, do these veneers. I call them a smile makeover because it, when I get done, I don't want anyone to know that anything's been done uh, except that person. If they choose to, to talk about it, but the big thing that we see is the smile makeover, it changes a person's life. It changes the way they look, it changes uh, the way they appear. It is probably one of the most popular things, most successful, one of the best things a person can do for themselves. Is fix their teeth. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I've been doing this a long time. Now today's topic, focusing on you know, helping the denture wearers, you say no more dentures, or people missing a lot of teeth, Right. fixing them with dental implants. But your background and training, I mean, you've been uh, teaching dentists, I guess, from all over the world for many years. Yeah. Is yeah. that right? That's right. Yeah. That, that was my love. I never dreamed I was going to do it. I, you know, got out of school. I was originally a chemist and uh, decided to go to dental school. After I got out of school, did a couple of residencies, uh, very, very impactful and very important residencies, and started placing implants. And uh, How many years ago? 21 years. So this 21, year. years 21 years ago. 21 years ago. Doing dental implants. That's right. Yeah. Now, you have a unique center, I guess. Mm -hmm. The way it's normally done, and correct me if I'm wrong, they go to one person that's the surgeon that puts the implant in, then they go somewhere else mm -hmm. to put the tooth on top. Now, you do both things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is that just a convenience for the patient, or is it a better way to go, yeah. in your I, opinion? I think, it, I think it's all the above. I mean, convenient for the person, the patient, the guest that we see, that's important. But it was the missing link for me. You know, I, people came in, they had all this failing dentistry or missing teeth, or typically it's a combination if they're not a denture wear or a potential denture wear. And so, um, you know, I just didn't want them to have to be going out to somewhere else. I didn't want them to have to go through all of the architect, the design, all of what many of my patients say, that's nice stuff, but it's kind of boring to me. They wanted it all done at one time. Like a one-stop 
kind yeah. of a yeah, but it's shot. bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's it's I'm the architect. I'm the designer. I'm the surgeon, and I place where I'm going to restore it. In other words, I put the teeth where I where they're going to be chewing, where the other people are going to see them, and where they get to chew what they want to chew, not what their teeth tell them they have to chew. Okay, yeah. now we're talking about uh, you know there should be no more dentures. Are you that everything should be attached to something? Is absolutely, that right? Absolutely, absolutely. Now, is it a big problem? I mean, like in Nashville. Yeah. I mean, are there a lot of people wearing dentures? It's more than I would dream. I actually ran a little statistic, um, and I love my state. I was born. I was born in Nashville, and we're in the top three, the most missing teeth in our country. And uh, that's not something I want to be a. I don't want to be proud of that. I want to do something about it. So yes, the answer is 30, 40, 30 to 50,000 within, uh, I'm going to say, 60 miles of Nashville. And we have around 2 million people. Is that right? 30,000 oh. people wearing dentures? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or, or not wearing anything. Really? Yeah. We see a lot of people not wearing, uh, they're just missing teeth. And if dental implants are so good, why aren't they all doing it? Why aren't they all coming in? What's your well, take on that? They're not going to the dentist. They're going nowhere, and they're hearing about uh, nothing in regards to putting teeth in their mouth. They don't know their options. They're coming in. They're miserable from, from what they're wearing right now, and they don't know, or they've been told that they couldn't have a fixed set of teeth that you don't take in or out. And then think of the other group. How did they get to no dentures? They've been through root canals. They've been through multiple phases of all kinds of dentistry that many of us have been through. And so why would they want to go back and experience that? So it these dentures don't want to go see you? No, no. And, and it, doesn't <laughs> have to, it doesn't have to hurt. It doesn't have to cost a lot. The other thing is, is they think they're too old. They've been told they're too old. Other family members, we hear this almost daily. You're too old to have this done. Too old for dental implants? Yeah. Well, how old can you be? I, I, I don't know the age range. What I do know is just this last week, we put a fixed set of teeth in a 90-year-old. So this 90-year-old woman comes in, and she's in her hygiene exam doing a cleaning. She has dentures. She has dentures and a few teeth left on the upper. Okay. The lower is falling out. I looked at her, and I said, would you like to have a fixed set of teeth, something that you brush in your mouth? And she said, can you do that? I was just recently told that I don't have enough bone or I was too old. And I said, well, if you have a few minutes, I think I can put an end to that myth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. right? That's what you told her? Yeah. So what happened? Yeah. Well, you know, we took a few x-rays and I would say 15 minutes I was able to her offer her hope. So what we did for her is we placed a few implants on the bottom full set of teeth. So now she gets to go back to the restaurant and eat the baby back ribs, the corn on the cobs, the things that she said I haven't eaten in probably 11 or 12 years. And that, they're, and they're, they're, they're like fixed. her own teeth? I mean, they're, they're, they're yeah. strong. She gets to eat what she wants. No more adhesive? No more. No more goo, no more of the stuff that we see and hear about. It's just, uh, we've eliminated it. So why would though a 90-year-old want to do this, mm -hmm. go through that? Yeah. The basic, she wants to eat. She wants to eat what she wants to eat. She, uh, she doesn't want that embarrassment, being with her friends or having to go off to the restroom that I hear from so many people and put some more goo. Or what do you mean some, by that? Well, she has to go in the restroom and put more uh, adhesive or glue in her teeth. She has to order what, again, as we said earlier, she has to order what her teeth want her to eat. That's eliminated. Dental implants. So there, in your opinion, most dentures are not happy. Because I, I know a few dentures. I've never heard them complain about their denture. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not going to complain to you. I mean, you're not a dentist. Uh, I love you. love your show. But uh, <laughs> hey, I mean, the end thing is, if I could place implants on every denture or partial wear, they would never go back. Yeah. See, you don't know what you don't know. And you don't know what it's like to have fixed teeth again after one, five, ten years of wearing a piece of plastic flopping around in your mouth. So when, when you do this, you yeah. give people this, these denturers something that's fixed in their mouth. Right. 
Is this one of those things where they say, I should have done this years ago? Yeah, every time. I've never had anyone say, I wish I hadn't done this. You know, 21 years, um, I would have heard that. Yeah, but isn't it true? If you're wearing dentures for like 30 years, you, okay. you lose your bone. You don't have enough bone to get this done. Mm -hmm. Is that true? It's not true. Yeah. I've never had to turn anyone away that did not have enough bone. We may have to work with them a little bit. We may have to do a few other procedures, but it's just not true. So people don't like coming to the dentist. Do they ever tell you that? Uh, every day. They do? What do they say? Uh, uh, well, uh, No offense? Yeah, well, that's, that's, one, that's, a, that's what they say to me. No offense, Doc, but I hate coming to the dentist. And uh, I know what it's like. I suffered through that. You know, people don't want to come see me. They even say, no offense, Doc. Do you have a I, comeback? What's your comeback to that? I, I say, I get it. You know. Okay. I just have to agree with them. I'm not going to tell someone not to feel way, the way they feel. But I sure, and we at our office can sure make it easy for you. Do you win them over? Like, were they like going to the dentist? Absolutely. Yeah. I hear you're a funny Maybe guy. not love. I heard you're funny. Absolutely. I also heard you're charming with patients. Okay. Is that uh, true? Uh, you know. Um, That's what your team says about you. Yeah, yeah. They I said, you get in there and, and, yeah. and you're just funny. And yeah. It is. It is. So you like it. I love it. It's beyond like. I love what I get to do. And more importantly, I love what I get to see after we get through with a lot of our patients. We're going to take a quick break. We come back, I want to know more about the process, what patients can expect when they go to your practice. You say, though, that pain is, yeah. is not an issue for most of these patients. Yeah. Is that we're, right? We're just not running into it. I just am not seeing pain or discomfort with our newer techniques that we're using. What do they take the next day after the procedure? Yeah. Usually. 90% ibuprofen. 20 right? years ago, I didn't see that. We're seeing that today. It seems very painful, <laughs> though. Is it because, the what, the bone doesn't uh, have feeling? Yeah. Well, the or bone really doesn't have nerves that go all through it like that. And we have new techniques. We have new philosophies, new materials. And our newer materials, they're the same thing used in biomedical science. Is it like microsurgery? It, it a is way? a microsurgery. We call it minimally invasive. Okay, good. It's the difference between what we've done in, in general surgery. Scalpel versus laparoscopic, or that kind of procedure. Okay, good. We're, yeah. we're going to take this break. We come back, I want to know what, what they can expect. Yeah. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. You know, every single day, we, we see these people come through. They're just, um, they, many have lost hope. Um, they've lost their self-confidence. We're turning these people back into happy romances. We're turning these people into... Um, uh, people that love what they do, people that love to smile, people that are changing their careers, people that are changing uh, occupations and, and living life. They're eating the foods they want to eat. No one should be wearing a loose-fitting denture or a partial. No one should be without teeth the rest of their life. We call these smile makeovers. We call them smile designs. We call them actually facelift. This is a person that hasn't smiled in years. This is a person that does not have to suffer ever again. When they hold the mirror in their hand on the day of the procedure and they view that big wide smile, tears roll down their eyes. They grab us, they hug us, and just love, absolutely love what they're seeing. You know, we like to say, if you change your smile, you can change your life. We see that on a daily action. If you don't like your smile, if you don't like the way you're chewing, if you don't like the way the teeth come together, there's always hope. There's something you can do. Come in, give yourself a chance. You say some people walk in without teeth on the day of the procedure. Correct. They may not have teeth. And right. they walk out with a fixed set of teeth or a, or a locked in mm -hmm. set of teeth. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, once a week. Maybe more. I, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but... It is, I'm careful to use the word amazing, but if I ever wanted to use it and really, really, really mean it, this one's amazing. Because we're chewing with our teeth, we're, we're using it for beauty, we're using it for facial structure, all those things look good, feel good, and eat with it. No other part of the body is like that. No other part of the body exhibits the way you feel, your joy, your confidence. I mean, you and I have talked about this. Yeah. You show somebody with angled teeth, messed up teeth, missing teeth. You look at another person, and uh, they have a beautiful smile. 
It's a whole different person. It's not phony. That's not fake. It, it does change their appearance. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just they don't know. They don't know They their don't options. know. And that's your struggle? Because you want to wipe out. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think mm-hmm. I'm paraphrasing slightly, mm-hmm. but you, you don't want anybody in Nashville to be wearing dentures. Yeah, you want them all attached to something. Yeah. There's no reason to have missing teeth. There's no reason to have dentures. There's no reason to have failing dentistry. And there's no reason to look in that mirror and not love what you see. That's, that's what we're doing. Now, the other thing we should mention is another group. You brought photos, so we're, yeah. we're short on time, so okay. I'll get to those photos. But there's a group of people that you describe is where they haven't been to the dentist in, in years, maybe 10, 15 years. Right. They feel like they're trying to avoid dentures, mm-hmm. yeah. and they show up in your office. They know they don't want false teeth. Right. So what do you say to them? Yeah. And, and, and isn't it true also your gums could be too bad right. to not be able to get mm-hmm. dental implants? Yeah. Well, we have about three different ways that we, or three different groups of people we see there. Uh, one, it, it's true. They've lost the bone. We call it gum disease. It's not gum disease. It's bone disease. Bone's what holds the tooth in. Okay. I, I want to just put an end to that word. I mean, gum? It's kind of like saying, you know, your body's all uh, misshaped because of your jacket or your shirt. Gum doesn't hold teeth in. But there are people that just can't save their teeth. We get rid of that infection. So it's we, an infection in their mouth. It's an infection in So the, you get rid the, of their infection and their gums get healthy? Right. Yeah, you get rid of what's causing the infection. It's a thorn inside the bone. We get rid of that, put them a set of fixed teeth in place. They can either snap it in, snap it out. Some it's pretty hard to do that with. Then others we have fixed. They don't even want to deal with anything. They just said, Doc, when I want them out, I want to come see you. And we want to come, we want, we want to see you. So it's, uh, it, it's just, it's life changing. Are they skeptical? Like when a patient yeah. goes in, their mouth is a mess, mm-hmm. and they're on the consult with you, what do they say? Yeah. What are their questions? Yeah, it's always the same thing. How much is it going to cost? How long is it going to take? Is it going to hurt? And why hasn't anyone told me about this? You know what we do? We address each one of those. And it's just not true that we can't have a set of teeth that's going to last you the rest of your life. You know, the biggest challenge and problem that we've really faced is we've done one-tooth dentistry. I, I used to call it the, the crown of the year club or the one-tooth of the year club. <laughs> you know, we have 28 teeth with our miss, you know, with wisdom teeth missing, and it takes 28 years to fix all your teeth. You know, and these are all the little analogies I use in our office each day. I said, you know, if I sold car tires, you'd never get four. So back to the thing is we have to go in and restore our teeth and our bite and, and, and our dignity. And so you could never back. be too far gone? Absolutely not. Yeah. And you could give people a locked-in set of teeth mm-hmm. and they could yeah. eat and yeah. chew. Do, you, do they tell you eating stories? Yeah. Eating stories is probably one of the biggest. It's tied with how much I love the way I look and how much people tell me I've changed. Okay. For the better. Um, but the eating stories are probably the most dramatic. I mean, think about it. Applesauce, mashed potatoes, embarrassment going to the stores, embarrassment with that adhesive. I mean, those are things that I don't necessarily know from myself. But when I'm sitting with someone five or ten minutes, I feel that. That's powerful. That is powerful having someone come up to me and say, I get to go eat the barbecue pork, the ribs, the... The corn on the cob. Not is the, that true? I mean, with these, absolutely, with, absolutely, I mean, you could be eighty years old and get this done and yeah. be able to eat a co- bite with your front teeth yeah. on a corn on the cob. Right. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like they would all do it. So, is it is your challenge, the dentist, to get them to believe it, that it's possible, yeah. that there's hope? Yeah. I, th- I think it is. I think it reminds me of a story that I'd heard about in a, uh, another country, and like many countries, we have people with no shoes. They just grew up that way. And the company basically had two people, two salesmen that went to the country. One said... To to do what? To sell sell shoes? shoes. Okay. Yeah, sell them shoes. And long story short, one person said, bad news. No one wears shoes there. I can't sell them. Second person says, great news. And I'm not going to mention the company because this has happened a few times. No one is wearing shoes. 
It was bigger than being a gold mine. So one salesman says, yeah. this is great yeah. news, nobody's wearing shoes. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one says, right. this is bad news, nobody right. wears shoes, we can't sell yeah. them. There's hope. So it's like with dentures. Yeah. yeah. So they, just because they don't have teeth, yeah. <laughs> they don't know what they're missing. Right. Right. So once you get these people with shoes, they want to wear right. shoes. The ones that wanted them, the ones that got a chance to experience it. You know, you said it earlier. Would anyone ever go back? No one has ever said, I wish I never had the dental implants done. I'd just rather have this partial or this denture or this old dentistry uh, giving me challenges and problems. So it's like a third set of teeth. It is a third set of teeth. That lasts for as long as you live? For long as you absolutely, absolutely. There's no reason uh, to not have permanent teeth in your mouth, and that's the one time permanent does apply in dentistry. Because we've been told I'm placing permanents in your mouth, and on average, you about 10, 15 years out of dentistry, we're into permanent now. So okay. it's kind of God's God's present to us, in my opinion. Dental implants. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So God takes them away, but then dental he, he also gives you dental implants. You get them back again. Yeah, I don't know if he takes them away. That's that's a, that's a Randy. <laughs> but, thing. but but sometimes yeah. they may fall out. Is what I meant, yeah, meant to yeah, say. Absolutely. And absolutely. you get them back with dental implants. Right. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Now you brought photos. I did. Because you say you are changing people, transforming people's lives. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. do you got? Well, see this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty minutes it took us to get him to smile. Came in no confidence, hated the missing teeth, uh, bad breath, uh, had all kinds of issues with spacing, whitening wouldn't respond to him. So what we did, took out his bad teeth, gave him some dental implants, uh, veneered over the teeth that we couldn't get a response to in whitening, uh, got his jaw in the right position. Look at that after. This guy has confidence in That's again. nice. It's good. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. yeah. The difference is, too, we did it in one visit. He leaves that way. He gets a chance to see for the very first time in his life that kind of result. That kind of result, this man has changed jobs. Multiple other, other, other things that I can't even talk about on the yeah. show. Now, when he looks at the mirror for the yeah. first time, what's that like? Typically crying. Joy. You know. Hundreds and hundreds of cases, but especially him. Uh, I found him in the hallway weeping from joy, and no one will ever talk about me or call me sharp, pointy vampire teeth again. So, is that typical though, this type yeah. of situation in your practice? Yeah. Daily. Yeah. These people are everywhere over Nashville, they're everywhere across the country, but in our area, we see them all over the place. Those are the people that are candidates for what we do. They're just not smiling. You know, they even look mean, you know, uh, or they're unhappy, or uh, they're just multiple things. And it's been so long for so many people, I think they just don't even know what they look like. So when it's all said and done, what does he say to you? Yeah. This is a tough guy. And it's a hug. We get, of course, written responses, thank yous. That thank you is huge to me. Now, the hygienist gets roses. <laughs> yeah. And um, that was the greatest gift because I came in after her hygiene uh, exam with him, and I see the roses. And um, no words need to be said after that. I mean, that right there is a happy man. We're out of time. But back to the denture wearers for a moment. You say they benefit the most. Mm -hmm. Give me a recap of their options. So if a denture wearer goes to your practice, uh, and we'll start with the lower denture, mm -hmm. what are their options? Yeah. Well, they could start off with two lower implants. They, we place a set of fixed teeth on there, and they can snap them in, snap them out, and they can eat with them. But what we really prefer, what we think is the very best, is to place four. Get them fixed. Get them anchored in there where they then get a fixed set of teeth in there that often it's hard to even take out. and you So still they could do a snap in, snap out with four still implants. Still snap them in, snap them out, uh, but it's going to be more stable, just like corners to a room. We're going to give you four areas so they can take them in and out. And they could eat? They can eat corn on the cob. They can eat just about anything they want. There's some limitations. It could flop up a little bit in the back. Okay. 
you know, and that's, you know, but that's, that's one of our options here. What's the next level up? Yeah, next level up is we go in and place uh, four to six, and we place four to six on the lower, actually fix them in. In other words, they're part of their jaw. It so it's stays. a full arch of teeth? Full arch, okay. full arch of teeth. And then the third, which I think is also one of the most exciting, is they go in, we'll go in and we'll place uh, a six implants on the upper, get rid of the plastic in the roof of their mouth, and uh, that, that's a game changer. That's a game changer from the standpoint they can taste their food, they can eat what they want, no more embarrassments. Because those are the things that really drive people to us, is I don't want these to even come out anymore. So you have the snap-on, take them in, take them out, then we have the fixed. No plastic in the roof of the mouth, eat what you want, and uh, last the rest of your life. And you're never too old to get this done, you Never say. too old. So you could be in your 90s. Right, yeah. And you say there's people in their 60s and 70s, which is young today, that yeah. think they're too old. Right, yeah. And bone is not an issue, because you bone can work with them. Bone is not an issue. Bone is not an issue. And the cost has come so down for us. And you finance people. Is oh, that right? absolutely. Because yeah. insurance does not cover this procedure. Yeah, it typically does. Or Medicare doesn't cover. Yeah, it just I mean, a small doesn't. portion. Yeah, we call it a rebate. You get somewhere between five hundred and a thousand dollars from your insurance. We okay. do. And uh, the girls in our office or the, our team, they get tired of me. But this hasn't changed since nineteen seventy. You get about a thousand dollars a year. So we call it a rebate or a coupon, and it's a thousand off. Or whatever your plan might be. So, but, yeah. So no more dentures. No more. You want to wipe it out in uh, yeah. in Nashville. Yeah. No partials. No dentures. I want it wiped out. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the yeah. show. Great information. Yeah. Uh, pleasure to have you on the show. And uh, and if they want to go to your website, you have all of these we do. photos. We do. All right, great. You've been watching the Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour. The leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.